Hello everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Hope you're all doing well. Um, for some reason my music has almost completely disappeared. Give... Okay, fantastic. Hello. Welcome to my first stream of the year. Sorry, it's been not as soon as I expected. I was waiting for my Apple Pen to arrive. So hello. Hope you're doing okay. Missed you all. As you can see, I have a slightly different setup again. I've moved desks again. Still trying to figure out what the best place is in terms of sitting here, um, doing some work. But, hello! Um, we're going to be drawing the sixth Doctor today. So that's going to be exciting. Um, I'm just going to, well, we're waiting for a few people to turn up. Um, I'm going to look at the reference images because I'm not going to lie, man. The sixth Doctor scares me. That's why I don't draw him that much. Not because, like, he scares me as a person. I love Colin so much. But actually to draw, he's pretty mental. Like, all the colours, all the patterns, all the design is pretty darn full on. So that's why I don't do him as often as I like. But I want to try something. Um, so I'm just looking up some reference images. The scene I'm actually looking for, which I found easily, which is great news. Um, and I'm going to just try and give him a little doodle today. So, bear with me. Um, we're going to start off with doing some really rough initial sketching, just to get the, the form right. Then we'll go in and I'll start adding detail and look a little bit more like Colin. But it might take some time. It will all depend on lots of different things, I suppose. Um, so I'm just trying to find the scene I'm looking for. Um... Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm going to do a scene from Trial of a Time Lord, and I, yeah, I, th I think it's going to be quite hard to do, actually. <laughs> so, let's actually get on with it, so we shouldn't be sitting here watching me um, debate things. So, first of all, we've got the video of him denouncing the Time Lords up, which is the one I want to use, but um, let's get you on our our screen. So this is our setup for today. Um, sorry it's not got the photo. Um, usually you have a version which has a digital version and then you have my drawing version but unfortunately I can't seem to find that lead and that's going to bug me for the rest of time. So we're gonna just get in, we're gonna start mapping out um, what I want to draw from this. So I don't want to draw the entire scene just because I don't have the energy for that and it's already eight o'clock. So I'm gonna just I'm gonna draw in his little stand. Just so I have a kind of understanding of what it's gonna look like. Again, this is very, very rough. This is just so I can and then all the power I think is gonna be on his hands as he stands behind the stand this is when he's angry at the Time Lords just trying to get the initial gesture down not too worried about anything else yet I really wanted to make that shape really prominent, like so. Good evening, good evening, good evening. So we're gonna have this and yeah, so he's got his coat.
And then his legs will probably be standing like that. So hopefully this makes just enough sense for you to understand what you're seeing today. How am I doing this evening? Um, I'm doing okay. I wasn't feeling very well earlier, um, but I'm feeling better now. So yes, I'm eating what's left of a packet of minstrels I had from last night. So I have chocolate, so I can't really complain. So this is my initial sketch. This is just for me to work into. So I'm going to bring the opacity of that down. Listening to me munching away. Um, I'm going to use a new layer to see if I can put in just some more detail just so I know exactly what it is I will be drawing now that I've got the kind of feel of what I want for the scene. But he is going to be really upset. That's how I'm... For obvious reasons, if you've seen the episode. Um, yes. So let's see how this goes. I'm sure... Um, so thank you everyone for joining me this evening. Um, all these... All these lovely viewers, thank you. Um, I've, I've made myself quite a challenge, I think, today. I have a lot of six Doctor fans on my timeline, so it's going to be interesting to see if I do this justice at all. And also, coats are hard, guys. Coats are really hard. I know it's still rough, but it should still read the way I want it to. Right, and obviously he doesn't have a square head, he has more of a round head. But we know his he is he is so angry. Uh let's I might have pushed that even further actually. Oh there we go. I've naturally put in some teeth and that's kind of worked. Can't see his hair, uh, his ears, sorry, behind his hair. That's okay, I'm gonna put in his ear so I can work out where his hair goes. Because that'll be the bit that'll be... Also very difficult. Right, so far I'm not liking how far away his neck is from his body, so let's kind of move that down a bit. Actually, if anything, his head's too big, right, for what I'm going for, so. That's better. Already. So if I, if I reduce this right down and do the same here. Again, I'm just going to start trying to fill more of this detail in. Hopefully you can see it. I'm going to see if I can... Uh, just using my tool to just move in a little bit more. Give me a second, guys. Just when I'm working into it. So you can see it better. There we go, and let's 
No, let's make sure the exposure's on. It'll be easier to see when I've actually put on the black ink as well. So, sorry about that. Right. Let's start trying... Um, Reduces. Nope. That's fine. Bring that down. Uh, let's try and make this a lot more uh, neat and tidy. So, no, I'm actually going to use my pen. I'm going to use the pen pencil that I usually use to ink. That's too thick already. That's better, right. Let's see if I can at least, if I can get the head right before I start anything else that'd be very help that'd be very very helpful oh there's nine of you now hello I'm probably aware that I haven't drawn him curly enough yet oh do I like that hair eh. let's fill in the rest of the features first and I'll He looks unhappy. I mean, so would I in his circumstances. Let's see if I can. So again, now I'm, I'm bringing that all the way. No, I think that kind of works for his hair, as long as I kind of really emphasise the curls. Hmm, that's quite fun actually. Okay. His ear is in there somewhere. Where? We'll never know. Okay, let's have this for my drink. I'm glad I did a warm up earlier today, actually, because um, I knew I was going to be using my Apple Pen for the first time in a long time. I've been doing some drawing for myself, which has been really nice. Getting back into swimmer things, I haven't had to actually use my drawing skills for a little while so right, let's see if we can get this so I know that his arm is a different colour. Oh, by the way, you will probably see my cat. He's behind me. He'll be here soon enough, I'm sure. There he is. Say hello, Molly. Anyway, let's uh, get back to the task at hand. Um, I think I'm going to bring it out like I originally intended. I'm going to change the soundtrack. Here we go. That's better. 
Давайте. So there you go. And then he's gonna have his own raptor. So, okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. He's certainly looking like Colin. Having to move my chocolates, I'm afraid the cat's gonna try and eat them. Okay. So, this is the bit I'm a bit fearful of. How do I make the coat work? If I remember rightly, hello everyone. Um, I'm just having a look. I think the back of his coat has a slit in it. So I just wanted to have a proper look at it. I don't think it does actually. Hmm. Okay, but I have found the color scheme for it, so that's good. More important than anything else I would have found is the color scheme. Okay, that's very handy. That's not what I wanted, I just wanted the picture. Please show me the picture. Oh, I hate the internet. It was fun. I have it, it's fun. Right. And because I know, so like there's a, this is why this is always so difficult. It's why I don't draw him as often. I, I don't get me wrong, I love him. But to get his coat right is the biggest pain in the butt. So his, his coat like separates out here. And then it kind of so around here somewhere, he has a little pocket. And then something like that. And then the same sort of thing happens again. I mean, we might not even see that much of the coat in in reality, but again yeah he's got like this waistcoat 
but we're not even going to see that bit because it's going to be this in the way. Yeah, so I will probably be drawing over this again. Hopefully not as stringently, but I just wanted to try and get everything drawn out. So I knew where everything was supposed to go. Like so. Um, so I'm just going to add because he is st he is technically standing in like this box. So I'm going to oh I should probably draw his shoes as well, shouldn't I? Haha. <laughs> There we go. Um. Right, let's have a look again at this. You know what? It might actually be okay how I've drawn it. It's just um, when I'm going to colour it in, I'm going to be... Very, very careful. And then obviously we've got the, the tartan bits here. Oh, what am I doing? Yeah, I'm gonna have to that actually makes sense still, but trying to make this easier to read but I think you know what I don't think I'm that far off to be honest and then obviously we've got I mean his we know that his uh, trousers are striped like so right okay I'm just gonna put in the bars as I originally intended that right down I mean, obviously, this is still a massive undertaking, even though I'm only doing a little bit of the colouring. 
technically, but I will probably end up still colouring him um, all in because it'll be easier. So now, yes, it is carrot juice. Um, I think the only thing I need to do with this, I need to push the there we go. Now he's actually standing properly. But it's okay because I'm gonna remove this. No, I've actually got it. Constantly changing my mind, I am. What's the best way to go about everything? So there we go. So we have our initial. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah, we have our initial kind of. This is what it's going to look like. Um, so yeah, so all I need to do now is really clean it up, make it look super swish. Um, it's going to be hard work. Um, I'm not going to lie. But I'm actually really happy of how his face has turned out. So that's good. I'm going to stretch him out a little bit. Sorry about that. Hit my microphone. Oops. Um, and then in turn I'm just going to... Make him actually look like he is actually standing in a, in a box. not too much all right i'm just gonna do this thing where i'm gonna duplicate this because i think the best way to do this might actually be to twist it all the way around make it a much bigger image like so There you go. Okay. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello, Laws Hip Hop. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm I'm using an iPad to draw on using the Apple Pencil. Um, I haven't actually been drawing a lot recently because um, unfortunately I left my Apple Pen at my mother-in-law's, um, so I had to get that sorted. But now I got it back. I was able to start streaming again so let's delete those let's not rename it let's flatten it as it is i have an old one if i need it and let's get this inked up um, and i'm gonna just keep on checking what his coat looks like because it's a pain in the butt to draw.
and one of the many reasons why I don't draw it. Sorry, mate. I love it, but <laughs> it's so hard to draw. <laughs> I'm just trying to make sure I definitely have the right patterns and things. Or as close as I can get. Alright, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Okay. So let's start with this head again. Just keep trying to make it just a little bit bigger than I did last time. Still keeping in the curls though, I thought that was a nice touch. That was kind of an accidental. So he looks a little bit more wired. I mean, he is at the moment, right? In the story. So. Maybe I'll block this off a little bit more, so... I hate it when my hand gets a bit wobbly. So I have actually drawn this scene before, a long time ago, uh, when I first watched it on Doctor Who on Twitch. I, I didn't do as well as I did now. That's for damn sure. I think it's already looking like a little bit much neater. I don't have to worry about the bars as well now. Is it? I think it is just like this, you know, and then we've got the pocket and I'll do the same.
fucking. Gosh, Doctor Who is angry. Trying to get his um He has uh, special shoes on, doesn't he? Nope, let's not do that. There we go, that's better. in there now I think Got his trousers, that's good. Um, right, let's make sure this all matches up on the other side. As best as I can. Which will probably be not really matching. Does it do it on both sides? Where's my drawing? Yeah, it does, but it's just a different colour. Okay. So I was right. Cool. Okay. Sorry. Well, 200 odd people voted, which is amazing. Um, so, I'm still chop of that, to be honest with you. Okay. Um, I'm just going to draw out this um, box again. And then I'll start colouring him in, which will be the most painful thing so far. <laughs> okay, I think I might cheat and bring in a, the photo I found so I can use the exact colours. I'm sure you guys won't mind, otherwise I'll get it wrong. <laughs> and I really don't want to get it wrong. Almost done. And then I'm actually going to colour this already, so 
Let's see if it will let me. Not quite yet. Yeah, no, I'll do it. It's a very neat trick when it works. Doesn't always work though. Sorting out these lines. I hope everyone's had a good day today, by the way. And, you know, this is nice and chill. And I know things are difficult in the UK at the moment. I hope, you know, you guys not based in the UK are doing all right. And those of you that are, I hope you've been able to find some solace in something with everything going on in the world it all seems pretty mad Just cleaning up these bars. Sorry, guys. It's a bit more laborious than, and not entertaining to watch. But there we go. That'll do for now. I do love some minstrels. Okay. So now. Uh, this is what we have. So. I'll take that away. And focus on. So I'm gonna, I was gonna say I was gonna put him in a ridiculous colour, but we know he's not really that ridiculous. <laughs> that would be a silly thing to say. So um, I'm just gonna colour him in, in a full block colour. This is so I can use it as a masking layer so I can get all my colours to fit. Now I'm going to go in and tidy up. This will be the hardest bit to tidy up, so I'm just... Always is hair is always the worst thing to tidy up. I'm glad it's chill. 
this was kind of my aim and my aim with all my streams is just to come out hang out talk about doctor who if you guys want talk about nothing if you guys want and just enjoy the stream not too bad it's just If you're new to the stream, you will understand why this is so... I'm, I'm doing what I'm doing soon enough. But yeah, just making sure that between the lines... If it's not, we colour that bit back in, like so. Oops, too big. Well, there was 12 of you now there's seven so i can't be doing something but too bad it's not one or two so that's nice i'm glad you guys are all sticking around it means a lot you know especially considering i haven't done it for a while so Almost there. It's not too bad. Let's just fix this little white bits you can see. Yeah, I think we're on the right path with that one. I'm going to make it slightly lighter. This way I can see it a bit better. Um, oh, this question. One more question. What program app are you using? Oh, cool. Yeah, so basically, this is an iPad Pro using an Apple Pen, and I'm working in Procreate. Procreate is uh, pretty damn wonderful. Um, it's really authentic. Like, not gonna lie, I left my Apple Pen at my mother in law's, and I was like, it's okay, I'll just pick things up again in Photoshop. And I just hated every second of it. I was like, drawing in it, going, eh, I don't like it. And then I, I got Clip Studio Paint and I, again, I didn't feel really at ease with it at all. Um, so yeah, um, you know, I think it was just one of those things. Yeah, so that's how it's going to look. Like that, okay. Um, brief review of Revolution of the Daleks. Um, it was okay. Um, I'm not gonna sit here and say I loved every second of it because I didn't. Um, but I don't know. I, I mean, I enjoyed it. I certainly enjoyed it. Um, I felt um, some of the dialogue was really cheesy and. Um, yeah the Dalek stuff was pretty cool I did love the Dalek stuff um, not sure how I felt about um, like when Ryan and Graham left I didn't find it uh, I didn't believe it um, it felt forced um, but that is probably just me Right, I'm just bringing in the colours so I can look at this outfit. There we go. So let's uh, I'm just gonna bring in 
insert photo um, and I'm gonna make put that on my flipping mask go on there we go so now I've got the colors up there that I can reference so I'm gonna do all the suit stuff first because that is the bit that is the most complicated I'm gonna just do it all in red first um, and then I'm going to work in all the other details just so I know what suit and what isn't suit uh, suit uh, coat and what isn't coat so as you can see because I've done that work um, now I won't go over the lines it's very very nice this is just a clipping mask they're in all art programs and if you know how to use them they can be mighty handy so yes um, we'll do red again oh yeah I realize I haven't actually done the um, little bits of the bottoms here so let me just fix that um, oh no don't do that yeah bit And these are also supposed to be like the uh, trousers. Like so, there we go. Not so bad. Um, okay, so we've got that one, which I think only belongs to one arm anyway. So that's nice. Um, right, so I'll take a, I'm gonna change this back color for a start because it's not gonna uh, help me very much at all in a minute. Let's do that for now. Um, it's a kind of purplish colour for the back of the outfit, so let's do that for now. Again, we're not going to see very much of the lower half, as it were, because of the bars, so hopefully I'll be able to... There we go. And then we need to do the other arm. This beautiful pink colour. Or at least some of it. And again, if we do the yellow. Uh, I think it's definitely more yellow than that. I think it's closer to that, yeah. And I'll do the trousers at the same time. Oh, maybe it's not so bad after all. Maybe I'll actually get through this coat. Maybe. Maybe I've been dreading it for all the wrong reasons. It's okay that I notice there's some blue, uh, red there. It's, I'm gonna be going over it anyway. It's fine. Uh, I think Ryan's reasons for leaving follow through from how he progressed in the past year. Yeah, I mean that may be so, but I just felt I I, I did feel that I did feel he wanted to go, but then his ex kind of. The way they handled it, I felt it felt rushed and not great. I almost feel like he should have said at the beginning, he should have kind of been a little bit more, uh, you know what, I'm not sure I'm happy that the doctor's back instead of giving her a really weird speech about change. There's something about it for me that didn't seem to work. But that's me and that's just my opinion and it's fine. I felt more sorry for Graham because I felt like he only stayed because Ryan wanted to. Again, um, that's just my opinion. Um, if he'd said, oh, you know, well, I, I've actually met someone and I want to stay around for them or, um, you know, I, I just didn't really feel it from Graham. Yes, this is the curse. This is the coat of many colours. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I find the whole thing very difficult. I don't like that it I don't know how I feel about it um, but that is just me um, 
so I wouldn't worry about it too much. So, yes, it is the coat of many colours. I do not know how people have not gone insane with this coat. To be honest, it, it's kind of odd, like, with this coat, looking at it. A lot of the same colours are repeated. I imagine if you're really used to drawing this character, it'd be easy. But I'm really, really not. Every time I draw Colin, I feel like I always get it wrong. <laughs> so it's nice to try again. We see what's kind of going on here now. I have made a mistake with the coat lining. That's fine. Uh, so let's see if I can get this to work. So it actually does this according to this little pattern I've got here. Which I'm totally fine with. And I assume then it would do the same on the other side. See, why doesn't it do it on the other side? It doesn't. It. It. This is red. So strange. Let's, let's fix that now. So this whole bit here is red. No, it's not. This whole bit here is red. Uh, there's green on both other sides otherwise. I'll worry about the tartan bit in the middle in a second because that's going to be a bit more dif difficult. But we get in there, we get in there. Yes, I'm looking forward to having more Yaz. I love Yaz. Um, okay. We're getting there. Hmm. I've noticed as well another thing I've done wrong with this coat. This coat's going to be the death of me. Um, it's supposed to kind of, yeah, it is as well. It's supposed to come down and just be like that. I'm going to fix this. I was thinking that's so much tartan, so much more tartan than I thought there'd be. So <laughs> that's kind of helped. Okay, so we're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, so first things first. Uh, 
Let's get this bit sorted out. That's the wrong yellow, but we'll... Uh, I don't want it to be exactly the same yellow as the one on the trousers. So I think I fixed that. And then the other one is this, this kind of pink, which isn't the same pink as on the other side. Okay, we get in there. The ultimate adventure costume. Maybe one day I'll draw that one. I think I've seen that one, but I can't remember. Someone is gonna have to send me a picture. But I'm afraid off the top of my head, I cannot remember. Hmm. Right. We are getting there, gang. Let's have a little look at what his... His waistcoat actually is not a far off this colour. So I might just... Cheat. Let me go. I forgot also to actually painting the top of the waistcoat. It's fine, I'll fix that in a second. And yes, I didn't have to actually draw all of Colin for this because obviously he's getting covered up by the bars, but my favourite is the blue costume. Yeah, I do. I do love the black costume and the black costume, the blue costume. I have drawn it before. Um, it was much nicer than <laughs> drawing this one. Will not lie. Let's uh, draw these in. Right, I'm going to try and get this tartan bit in as well. It won't always look this red. I'm just going to... Actually, it may very well still look this red. I still got to do this bit as well. I mean, it certainly looks like his coat. I will give myself that credit. I need to tidy up all the mess I've made. Right, 
gonna show you. So why the tartan bit will actually again make sense in a second I'm just gonna just making sure all of this works Now let's put in his face. I'm gonna just do it like a box standard and then I'll work in right with his hair. I'll hide that for a second. to his hands. And that's very interesting. Shows me how bad my colouring is. Ah, come on. Same here. Is that one there it is right so we're getting like a lot of the initial work down which is great did I just decide not to do <laughs> his other hand no that hand must be blue <laughs> there you go I think I'm gonna make him paler I'll fix his um fix that more later um okay so we are not far off i just need to do the tartan bit and then have a look at his pockets so i haven't really done his pockets and i need to do the tartan on his other bit as well okay so first of all the tartan if i bring up the it's really just brown and black stripes.
Oh, thank you. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do splatterings of color on these. Okie dokie, and then I'm just having a little like a, yeah, there is kind of like a brown. At the very least, there's a brown stripe. from looking at these pockets. Which I think are just green. Come on, show me the pockets. I'm kind of tempted to leave it like that because it does actually look like authentic pockets. But apparently they are also blue so I'm gonna just do that. It's probably wrong. But saw it. Right. So now. If, oh, and of course his shoes. How could I have I forgotten his shoes? Which are green. And for some reason I didn't finish colouring in his sh uh, trousers. So that's weird. Unless I deleted those by mistake. There we have it, we almost have a completed coloured Colin, but I do have some last minute touches to do as well. So looking at this, I think his hair is too dark. So I'm just gonna brighten it a teeny tiny bit and then that's it, that's a little bit. Of, oh yeah, I need to do his um necktie. So for this, in the actual episode 
it is red and I haven't done his shirt either that's why I hate this costume Okay, so we are not doing too badly here. Um, I'm going to make his eyebrows the same colour as his hair, almost. There we go and now just a couple more things to do so now at the moment it looks like this so the way to get this to look good is well, there's a couple of ways there's a couple of things I need to do first though to you. I don't need you anymore. Okay, so again I'm going to go into the gallery mode. I'm going to duplicate it just in case we need the original back later. And I'm going to flatten that so we can use it later. I'm going to flatten a version I don't think I'm ready to quite flatten Colin yet, but that's because I've got some shadows to do. So, first thing I'm going to do um, is um, so I'm going to take a dark brush, go into the gouge brush. And again, these are all supposed to be clipping masks, they're supposed to be. Cool. Right. I'm just going to rename this. Shadow. So we're getting there and the things I want to do as well as I want to is that a little shadow under his chin Yeah, 
I'm going to use the, I've got this wonderful smudge tool that just really takes all the kind of harshness out of my shadows. Right, let's see what happens when I put this on the kind of dark, you know, a more relevant colour, as it were. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to duplicate this layer. I'll duplicate it again. No, I can't do that. Right, flatten that one. And I'm going to fill it black. That's what we're going to do. We're gonna brush the background. Here we go. And then I'm going to just on the floor. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you like it. I think it's done really well as well actually. Um, so let's duplicate it again. Actually no, not yet. I just need to fix his face, his face is far too... Actually, I'm supposed to give him blusher anyway, so let's... Uh, he's going to need it as well because he's very angry. I say blusher, I, I, I make all my characters' faces alcoholics uh, of some description uh, just uh, give it a bit of a blur put a nice That's better. That looks better already. I'm just going to go in and just tidy up some of these little lines here. But I think we are really close to the end of this one, which is pretty cool. It certainly looks like Colin which I am pleased. I think I might even do another this line of harsher shadow. Just like like here. Again, it's still overlay, but it's it's a bit more um I don't know what you'd call it. And don't worry, I am gonna fix the fact that the hand isn't supposed to be it's supposed to be in front. So well I'm much happier now. I'm just going to double check these no bits here shouldn't be there. Right. Now it's actually time to duplicate him. Flatten. Above the bars, except... How am I going to do this?
Nah. It's not quite what I wanted. It's alright. It's okay, I'll just, I'll just do it the way I was supposed to do it. Feather it a little bit as well, see if that helps. can just that works better I can just uh, come on right that's it There we go. I mean, I'm pretty happy of how this has come out, but I think it's basically done. All I'm gonna do, um, is I just do, always do like a few finishing touches. Um, I'm gonna sneeze, sorry. <laughs> Bless you. There's best. What do I do that for? I don't know. I always do it. Right. There we go. Oh, the chat wasn't working, was it? Sorry about that. I don't know why that was. Okay. Cool. And then... Um... Okay, ways to finish this. I've got a feeling, you know, that they're supposed to be, it's supposed to be brown behind him as well. He's in some sort of boxed out thing. So I'm gonna just see what that looks like. probably change the colour of the actual uh, background box as well but yeah I think that's supposed to be like that Okay. 
Good stuff. Okay, so. I think I might make this. That's better. Hmm. What do I do with you? Again, I'm just going to... So I can do the last touches on destroying. So I think for now it is certainly done. Cool. So I'm actually tempted. Bring it down. More center stage. Put that kind of over it as well. Give it this kind of weird vibe. Okay. Um, I think I sign it now. I'm going to sign it. I'm just going to try some effects. So I always do this, no matter what, really. No, nope, do we do that? Right, so what I will do, so some beautiful effects on here. So let's try, um, we'll add noise first. We always add a little bit of noise. You can just barely see it, but it's just a nice little touch. Um, then I go into the gradient map. We have a look and see what it looks like with a different gradient on. And sometimes it looks really cool. Sometimes not so much. I quite like that. Maybe. Oh, this adds a little bit more to it if you get what I mean. Because it almost makes me want to. I know we obviously put it as portrait when I was doing this earlier. So again, I'm just going to copy, duplicate. I think what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to do what I didn't do before, which I did before already. What else I'm going to do? Something like this. Because. Okay, it's fine. It's not too bad. And I can. But now I know how to do that. I will just duplicate it again. Button. Radiant map. And then it was light, lighter colour. Isn't it? Okay. 
is what it makes me want to do. I know I've done all this work. I know I've, I've, um, but I think it would look so much better just thematically if I go in. And then what I can do is I can write in the transcript for this scene. Um, uh. I think I'm gonna just just write based upon this bit which says um ten million Yes. Of absolute power. That's what it takes to be really corrupt just tidy up my text because I um, I will have a look Fill. Oh. And I'll put a nice little. Oh. And last but not least, a little speech roll. There we go. I think I might even make it a little bit smaller. There we go. Guys, it is done. We are finished. This is what it looks like in full. I will be putting it on the internet relatively soon. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I had a real good blast drawing this one. Um, and yeah, he is complete. Um, yes. Poof. Remind me never to draw him again. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, please, if you did enjoy this, um, please consider donating on my Twitch channel. You can donate whatever you want and that money comes straight to me and it means that I can, you know, help pay bills, feed the cat, etc. If you do like my do what I do, you can subscribe to me on Prime. 
If you have a Prime account already, you can do it basically for free. Just remember to do it every month. Please, please, please um, consider that. Um, and um, yeah, that's it really. Um, thank you so, so much. And um, I hope to see you around on the internet soon. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you all have a lovely evening, morning or afternoon, wherever you are. Thank you.